Good morning, uh, Maestro Mist. Good morning. Welcome to NCPA and, uh, you know, enjoy our program, you know, facing artist dialogue. So I'm uh, Lu Jia, uh, NCPA uh, music director, and um, today is me in the interview as a colleague, as a friend, as a music uh, lover, real lover, okay. So, yesterday evening, the concert I heard was really, really great. I had a great, great success. And also I heard from, you know, from the Nets, the live, almost uh, five, six thousand, hundred thousand audience. Great, great, great success. When we are on tour, we always try to uh, wreak the sound which we create in our, our beautiful hall at home in Cleveland. And here it was relatively easy mm -hmm. uh, and, and you can mold it very beautifully. So for us it was actually uh, very nice to finish our three week long tour in a hall where we can play the way we want to yeah. play. And uh, you were born in Linz, in Austria. And I was also a uh, few years ago with the Macau Orchestra, with the Bokona Festival. Such beautiful place, and also traditional Austrian, uh, Euro uh, European, you know, Austrian, German. Cleveland Orchestra, uh, because this orchestra is also, of course, it's a long history about, but it's still as American orchestra. And the how combine your your European, especially your personal idea with the Cleveland Orchestra, uh, with music, this connection of music. You know, first of all, the the orchestra, the Cleveland Orchestra, is now hundred years old. When I got hired as music director in '99, that's, wh uh, that's when I signed my contract. Later on, they showed me the job description they had made, and there was one uh, line in there which sort of points to it's your question. Mm. The new music director should come from a middle European background. Wow. wow that's and so it, it was the idea of, and has been for a long time, of the Cleveland Orchestra that they actually really want to be centered in European music. That's so important. You know, I come very much from opera. I wanted the orchestra to have more of a singing quality and the, the Cleveland Orchestra always was an incredibly precise machine if you want, yeah, yeah, yeah. very well oiled uh, uh, machine and, but I wanted to I wanted the orchestra to breathe more and I wanted uh, the orchestra to be much more like a a chamber music group rather than a big orchestra and I think that is really the huge difference between other American orchestras and the Cleveland Orchestra. We, are, we, are so, we play in such a different way than other American orchestras yeah. and we are proud of that and we, we want to continue to do that. That's wonderful. Congratulations, you know. I hope one day you can, uh, with the Cleveland Orchestra, uh, mix, uh, in Beijing and CP, make some opera. <laughs> it's great for us. It's <laughs> great for us. In China, it's, I think, you know, the classical music, you know, it's also, uh, it's, it's very good period, you know, a lot, a lot of cities, new hall, new orchestra, and also new audience. Mm. Uh, and we, uh, they need guide. They need, uh, uh, education about music and uh, what's your experience and uh, can we share your experience about your, the audience music, music education? You know I think you only can hook them on to classical music if you give them highest quality. Exactly. And, totally and agree, so, totally agree. You know in now, nowadays where there's so much uh, competition with all the social media and this and that everything is accessible so why should people young people listen to uh, music if you get the feeling the musicians on stage are bored you know uh, it's not like 50 years ago when I grew up uh, it's very different and we have to work hard to get their attention but when you get their attention and when they when they get excited they will come back our success in Cleveland is we have the youngest audience in America 
And our success is actually that 90% of the people who come first time to a concert, they come back. That's wonderful. That's the big success. So uh, it's very simple. You have to give young people highest quality, nothing less than that. When I see in, over the last three weeks, Chinese audiences, so many young people, like yesterday, there was a little boy sitting behind the orchestra yeah. and he was conducting as <laughs> well. It was so nice. But it means that he got involved, emotionally involved and that will stay with him and if he doesn't become a professional musician i'm totally convinced that he will be a passionate music lover and that's what we need thank you all so much you know for such it's a, such a pleasure uh, we had a conversation with uh, with you such a great musician and i have a small gift for you uh, our NCP Young Orchestra yes. uh, and, uh, and, uh, almost a live concert in uh, Anton oh. Gruckner. Oh wow! Symphony, Zweiter Symphony. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. Very much. <laughs> so, so great, great to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you.